Hello, fight fans, and welcome to the Polo Grounds in New York City. This evening, Floyd Patterson, the challenger, versus Ingemar Johansson, the reigning world heavyweight champion. On September of 1959, Johansson beat Floyd in a three-round KO. Since that fight, Patterson has been dedicated and training a lot for this rematch. Besides the 31,000 people that are here at the Polo Grounds, we've got a closed circuit hooked up to 160 cities. That's a lot of viewers, folks. At ringside tonight, we predict that Floyd Patterson will bring in over $700,000. And Ingemar Johansson will bring in over $600,000. That's a lot of buckolas, folks. This should be a good fight. And here we go with round one, folks. I would suspect Floyd Patterson would try to get inside of Johansson's jab, because as soon as Johansson puts out his jab, you can expect a pounding right hand. Floyd's going to have to play a little different fight this time. Here we see a little peekaboo from Floyd. Now I see you, now I don't. Now I hit you, now I don't. Oh, Floyd comes lunging into the left and the right. Misses. Oh, he connects with that right. And they clinch on the ropes. Floyd's out to get him this time. Arthur McCante is the referee tonight. And again they clinch. Some minor body work inside. Double jab from Floyd. Ooh, Floyd Patterson comes in swinging. He's got Johansson on the ropes. Johansson backs away, looking to unload that right hand. But will Patterson give him the time? Jab, jab, those are missing. I like that double jab from Patterson. Ooh, a left that connects from Patterson, and a right, and a blow to the body. Ooh, that right hand misses Floyd Patterson. Ingemar almost got that one in. And that's what this crowd is waiting for, that thunderous right hand from Johansson. Patterson ducking, bobbing, weaving, trying to get inside Ingemar's left hand. Again, they clinch, some minor body work. Arthur McCante pulls them apart. Pitter-patter left from Johansson. No damage. He's just measuring. Cocking his gun, getting ready for that right hand. Patterson about moving it. Oh, he comes in hard, misses it with a left hook. Oh, a thunderous left hook that catches only air. Ingemar ducked right under that just in time. Patterson dancing, weaving, backing up a bit, waiting for his time. A lot of fainting going on here in this first round. And they're out for round two. Patterson with two lefts right off the bat. He isn't giving Johansson any time to get set to throw that right hand. Again, that swinging left that misses. One of these times, he's going to catch him. Trading jabs. Nice jab from Patterson. He's relentless. He keeps it up. If he keeps this up, Johansson won't have a chance. Ooh, a left and a right and a left from Johansson. Not doing much damage, but counting for points. Ooh, a left and a right. The left connects from Patterson. Some more peekaboo from Floyd. Oh, a right hand from Ingemar lands on the right side of Patterson's face. That's the one we've been waiting for, folks. 
unbelievable power in that right hand. He didn't put Patterson down, but Patterson is definitely hurt. He's stunned. He's backing up. Trying to gather his senses. Can he weather the round? Again, Patterson backpedaling. He doesn't want to taste another one of those right hands. If I was Ingemar, I'd be in there swinging now, taking advantage of the cobwebs in Patterson's head. Ingemar stalking Patterson, looking to land another right hand. Patterson comes back to the left. Maybe he's going to be okay. Oh, another right hand, but that misses. Ingemar should be coming in for the kill now, folks. He should be twice as aggressive as he is. Ooh, a left from Patterson. Patterson looks to be okay. He's coming back. A right hand. A left, a right, a left. They exchange blows. Body to the head. Patterson's back to normal now. He's fighting just like always. Three or four jabs from Ingemar. Johansson desperately wants to land that right hand again. Left to the body from Patterson. Double left, the second one missing. Johansson has to be aware of Patterson's left hand. It's a dangerous blow and his best of his arsenal. And the end of round two. Round three, Patterson comes out with a double left jab. Three or four jabs, most of them hitting the mark. Not doing much damage, but scoring points. Some work on the inside. Patterson sure keeps his right hand hot. Good defense. Trading jabs. Ooh, a left and a right and a left from Patterson. He's doing good body work here. McCante splits them up. Here we go. Both fighters missing their jabs that time. Pity pad on the inside, not much damage. You can see the look in Ingemar Johansson's eyes. He'd love to connect with that right hand. Patterson just won't let him. He keeps moving, bobbing, jabbing, being the aggressor, coming in. Getting off first. He's making Johansson fight Patterson's fight plan. Ooh, a right hand from Ingemar, glancing off the upper side of Patterson's head. The left hand of Patterson seems to be controlling this fight up to this point. But everyone's waiting for that ominous right hand again from Ingemar Johansson. A jousting match of lefts. They trade lefts. Again, Arthur McCante comes in breaking up the two fighters. Ooh, a nice left from Patterson. A left and a right. And another left. He lands. Ooh, another powerful left to the jaw of Ingemar Johansson. He's got Ingemar thinking now, folks. Ooh, the right hand misses from Ingemar. A left from Patterson. They trade lefts. Ooh, nice left from Patterson. That put Johansson's head back. Another left. Seems he can hit Johansson at will with that left. Ooh, that looked a little low, folks. I don't know about that. Keep him up, Floyd. Floyd comes in with a left and a right. He might have Johansson hurt a bit here, folks. Patterson being a hard target. And the end of round three.
Here comes Johansson out for round four. Exchanging jabs. Double left by Patterson. That's a beautiful, beautiful looking shot. He puts his whole body behind those lefts. And they're fast. Patterson's whole fight plan seems to be a little bit high-powered and faster than Johansson's. Ooh, a triple left jab, and they go into a clinch. Patterson has good footwork here. Here's that double jab again. It gets in, and another clinch. The trade jabs. Ingemar seems to be pawing with that jab more than trying to hit Patterson. He's just trying to set it up for that right hand. And he must be frustrated. He can't get it in. He can't unload that right hand. Patterson is taking the play away from him. Coming in with a left to the body. Ooh, the right hand misses from Ingemar. Good defense on the part of Patterson. Patterson working away to the body. Cool, right hand. Quick right hand from Patterson, right out of the clinch. Lands on Ingemar Johansson's right jaw. Cool, right from Ingemar, but Patterson keeps coming forward. Cool, left. Patterson says he wants the crown back. Double left misses. on the inside. Both fighters with body blows. Those body blows might not seem like much, but they would knock an ordinary man down. Pawing right hand from Ingemar. of infighting this round, more than the previous rounds. Do a triple left jab from Patterson. That's a art. That's beauty, folks. Ingemar comes back. They're going to a clinch. The end of round four. A double left jab starts round five from Floyd Patterson. Triple left, four left jabs in a row. Those are fast. That's the kind of fighting that will keep Champ off balance. Give Patterson a chance here. Patterson looking to land a hard left. To an uppercut that misses from Ingemar. Patterson lunging in with that left. The right that hits only air. Neither man wanting to give up ground. Force powerful left hand from Floyd Patterson. Puts Ingemar Johansson down. I don't believe it. A one-punch left hand. Ingemar's down. Is he going to get up? He's up at the top eight. There's no mandatory eight count here tonight, folks. Pull a left and a right to the body. Floyd Patterson can taste it. He's coming in, slamming a right and a left and a right and a left. He's relentless. Ingemar doesn't know what's hitting him. He can't even fight back at this point. McCanty pulls them apart. Floyd coming forward again. Pounding left hand. He pulls the Swede in a full 360 and comes back again. I don't believe it. This is amazing. Ingemar tries to come back with a few lefts and rights, but they're slow. They're missing. Patterson, a left to the stomach, a right to the stomach. A left floor is Ingemar again. He's, not, he's on his back. I don't know if he's going to get up on this. He's still down. He hasn't moved a muscle. He looks like he's out. Oh, Floyd Patterson comes over to see if his opponent is okay. What?
What a gentleman. And Floyd Patterson wins the World Heavyweight Championship. Here we see a slow motion of that devastating left hand. His whole body's behind it, and there it is. You see it, folks. Ingemar's down for the first time in round five. Slowly, he gets up to one knee, although this is slow motion. And here we see the final knockdown. Again, a crushing left hand coming from left field. Devastating, devastating blow. No movement at all from Inga Mario Hansen. You can see the jubilance in Patterson's face. He's a happy man and well he should be. The handlers desperately gather around Inga Mario Hansen. He's still out. In fact, He's out for eight minutes after the knockdown. And Floyd Patterson, the youngest man in history to win the World Heavyweight Championship and the first in more than one half century to retrieve the throne he had previously lost. Gold medal.